Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. For this video, we will uh, discuss on your homework extensive practice. This is the last exercises in the textbook form 5 variation KSSM 2021. So question number 1, write the variation relation for each of the following. So A, W is directly proportional to the cube of X square. B, A varies directly as B and inversely as the cube root of C. C, P varies directly as Q and the square root of R. And D, S varies uh, directly as its acceleration, A and the square of the time taken, so T squared. So, question number 2. The diagram on the right shows the graph of y against 1 over a cube root of x. Write the relation between y and cube root of x by using the symbol uh, variation here. So this is the answer for number 2. Number three, 3. Write the following relation in sentences. So... This one for A, Y varies directly as X and Z. For B, E varies inversely as F. C, P varies directly as uh, cube root of Q and inversely as R. And D, N varies directly as P and uh, Q square and inversely as square root of R. So question number 4. State whether each of the following has a relation of y varies directly as x. So y varies directly as x. So yes, because the value of k here is 1. For b, uh, there is uh, no value of k here. So this is no. For c, this is also no because this is actually y varies inversely as x, not directly. So for D, Y equals to X. So this is um, yes because Y varies directly as X and the value of K is actually 1 over 0 0.5. So question number 5. Calculate the constant K. So for A, L varies directly as the cube of M. So L varies directly as m cubed, then uh, write in the form of equation, substitute the value of L, m, m here, then you get the value of k 0 0.5. For question B, h varies directly as a and the square root of b square. So square of b is b square, then uh, substitute the value of h, a and b here, then you get the value of k equals to 1 over 3. For C, p varies directly as uh, q square r and inversely as cube root of s. Then, substitute the value of p, q and r here. So, you'll get k equals to 1.4. So, question number 6. It is given that m varies inversely as n and p. So, substitute the value of m, n and p. Then, you'll get the value of k then substitute back into the formula. So this is the equation that relates M, N, and P. Question number 7. It is given that F varies directly as G square H. Then substitute the value of F, G, and H here. Then you'll get the value of K equals to 0 0.3. Substitute back into the formula and also here, uh, yeah, we want to calculate the value of G, so just substitute the value of H, uh, F here and H, then you get the value of G equals to plus minus 1.4. So, question number 8. The table on the right shows the changes in three quantities. So, it is given that Y varies directly as X and inversely as the square root of z. So calculate the values of m and n. So write in the equation form, substitute the value of y, z, 
an X here in the first column and then you get the value of K substitute back into the formula to calculate the value of M substitute Y as M and also the value of X and Y here at uh, the, uh, the Z here then you'll get the value of M next uh, substitute the value of Y with 20, uh, 51 and then the value of X is 1.7 and the value of Z here you put as N so you'll get the value of N equals to 0 0.64 question number 9 P varies inversely as Q and Q is actually 3R minus 2 so first calculate the value of K first so this is uh, the equation and then Q here I will use my pen so Q here you substitute with 3R minus 2 as mentioned here in the question and uh, I just uh, changed the position of these two so that I will get the value of R so question number 10 the electric current I varies directly as the power and inversely as the voltage so this is the relation variation form so it is given that the hydrator with 550 watt of power and 240 volt of voltage uses an electric current of 2.2a so we can calculate the value of k by substituting the value of i v and p as uh, given in the question, then you get the value of k equals to 0 0.96, hence so i equals to 0 0.96 p over v. Then the, uh, the question asks you to calculate the electric current used. So i when uh, with 25 watt and the v is 240, so you just substitute the value of P and V here, then you'll get I equals to 0 0.3. Question number 11. The area of the curved surface A of a cone varies directly as the radius of its base and the slang high S. So also given the value of A, R and S here, so that we can calculate the value of K. So K is actually the value of pi. So calculate the value of A when R equals to 5 and S equals to 9.8. So substitute the value of R and S here. So you get A equals to 154cm squared. So B, what is the change in the area of the curved surface if the slang height decreases and the base radius is fixed? So, the area of the curved surface will decrease too. It's the number 12. It is given that Y varies directly as X and inversely as W. Also given the value of Y, X and W so that we can calculate the value of K. And we substitute back into the formula. Question A, the value of W. We want to calculate the value of W, so we just substitute the value of Y and X here. So, W is equal to 0 0.075. For B, the percentage of the change of Y when X increases by 10% and W decreases by 20%. So, for question B, the X is increases by 10%, that means it's 100%. Uh, 10 of 100 times with the original value of x so it's equal 6.6 .6. so the value of hex here, x here is 6 so this is uh, the value for x for y decreases by 20% so 80 of 100 times with the value of w this one 
the value that we calculate just now in A. So this is the new value of W, 0 0.06. Then calculate that into the formula to get the value of Y. So this is actually Y. Typing error here. So it should be Y. Sorry for that. Okay, so percentage of change. The new value of Y minus the uh, initial value of Y here, 20, divided by the initial value of Y times 100. So, we'll get 37.5%. So, this is the percentage of change. Okay, have a look at question 13. The speed of a bicycle S varies directly as the number of revolution per minute of the bicycle pedal P and the number of the front gear T B and inversely as the number of back gear T is B. Jantami ride a bicycle at a speed of 26.4 km per hour. So the bicycle pedal moves at 75 revolution per minute with 40 front gear teeth and 20 back gear teeth. Calculate the change in speed of Santami's bicycle if he pedal at 90 revolution per minute. So have a look at the solution. So here, S is varies directly as the number of revolution T and the front gear TD, so F varies directly P, P and inversely as the number of B. So, we write in the form of equation by adding the value of A. For S here, you cannot simply uh, write 26.4 km per hour because here mentioned that the number of revolution are per minute. So you have to change this uh, speed to the uh, in a in a unit a kilometer per minute. So how to change this? You just uh, divide by 25.4. Just divide by 60 minutes because one hour is equal to 50 minutes then you will get 0 0.44. So, we just substitute the value of S here, 0 0.44, which is the number of revolution, the number of uh, 40 is front gear T, and 20 is back gear T. So, when you calculate, you will get the value of K equals to 0 0.00293. So, we substitute back the value of K into this formula. So next, we want to calculate the change in speed. So, when 90 revolution, just now for 75 revolution, so we have to calculate the number of uh, front gear teeth and back gear teeth for 90 revolution. So have a look at this table. 70 uh, revolution, I divide with 5, 5, so that becomes 15, 15, 15, 15 minute. So every 15 minute, front gear will, uh, will be 8 because this is 40 divided by 5. This one, 20 divided by 5. So here, 20, uh, 70 divided by 5. Okay, why I divide by 5? Because I want uh, here, so this is typing error here actually, should be 75. So, 75 revolution uh, to 90 revolution we pass 15 minutes. So, for 15 minutes extra, then the front gear will plus 8 and the back gear will plus 4. 
So that for 90 revolution here, the front gear will be 48, which is 40 plus 8. And for the back gear is 20 plus 4. Okay, so that uh, you get the speed 0.5274 km per minute. Then we time this with 60 to change back to kilometer per hour. So this is the, the speed for 90 revolution. So the change of speed will be uh, 5.28. We minus the uh, final speed with initial speed. So Santami increases his speed by 5.28 km per hour. So I have also a very simple solution for this question by using um, a proportion method. So this is the speed. We want to find the speed for 90, uh, 90 revolution. So this is the speed for 75 revolution so i just uh, ignore the d and b here because um, the, the more the number of revolution here then the d and b will increase by the same rate so we can ignore ignore that so we, we use a uh, multiplication method then we get the value of S equals to 31.68 km per hour. So, uh, to find the change of speed, just minus the, um, the speed of final and initial. Or this is the, the speed for 90 revolution and this is the speed for 75 revolution. So that's all for this video. Thank you and see you in the next video.